Hi, this is Hygienist Uke and welcome to my channel, Building Amazing Things. Do you really want to know how to build this amazing website using Figma? Then keep watching. So let's get started. Um, this is my Figma project and this is where I see projects I've done before now. So if you have not um, registered to Figma, just open figma.com and register and you have access to this. Uh, by the meantime, if you're new to Figma, you'll not have any projects, but I've already done some projects on Figma and these are the various projects I've done on Figma. So to get started, uh, you click on the plus icon at the top here and this environment gets opened for you. So a quick introduction to Figma. At the top, you see the different tools you can use. You can see the, the pick tool, you can see the frame tool, the shapes, the pen, the text, the hand tool, and the comment um, tool. So now what I'll do first is to add a frame. I'll click on the frame tool, then click anywhere on the canvas. Then I'll do a general setting of my X and Y axis to be zero by zero. This just keep the frame by the center. You can, you can decide not to do this, but I feel this is the best practice to do. So um, next I want to set the width and height of my frame. I want my frame to be 120 by 1080. The reason for this is to give uh, a 4D approach to my design. So I can select the hand tool and drag this to the center. One thing I want to do is to zoom, which you can do up here. You can select to be 50 and use your hand to a drag. It is not okay. I can select to fit and that's fine. Then the next thing I want to do is actually what we're designing. What are we going to design? Um, I think I should design um, a portfolio for a photographer. What do you think about that? That would be nice. So a portfolio that just tells you this is what I do. This is how you're going to contact me. This is, um, these are my social media links and the rest of that. So to do that, we need some pictures and we need some content about a photographer and the rest of that. So, but let's get started. First, I'll get my rectangle tool. I'll click on the rectangle tool and make this rectangle right here. And I think I'm okay with this. So now I'll need, once you create a component or once you add a component to your frame, by the right hand side of your screen, you're going to see the properties of that frame. So I can add the color of this, I can set the width and height. So you just go through these properties and know what you can do with this um, right angle. So I'm going to give it a color. And right now, you can just click on, under the field, you can just click on the color here and just select any color you want to use for your design. So right now, I'm going to scroll down here and this might be fine, but if you have a color code you want to use also, you can just type in the color. I prefer, I have a color code already, so I'll just copy this color code and I'll put the color code yeah, and enter. Do you think Figma is a great tool? Yeah, Figma is a great tool, like so easy to use. If you think Figma is a great tool, comment, write a comment, tell me, yes, Figma is a great tool. I don't see a comment um, in the comment section. Write me a comment, tell me that Figma is a great tool. So the next thing I want to do is um, while the text and on the property of the text, I'm going to select, uh, let's say, font size of um, 48. What will be the name of this um, site? Who's going to be the owner? Uh, I'm going to use Olivia. That's not my girlfriend anyways. I'm going to use Olivia Grace. And fine. If you're thinking, if you're doubting me, she's not my girlfriend. So the next thing I'll do is um, I'll set the font type by clicking down here and um, 
I like pumpkins, so I'll search for pumpkins and um, where's pumpkins? Yes. So I'll select pumpkins, then I'll make it um bold. That's great. So I'm going to take this down here. This look nice. Um, the next thing I want to add is space within the text. So you can see this. You can later spacing so you can click and drag to the right to increase the later spacing. So now this is okay. The next thing I want to do is I want to add, um, let's say, um, links to the website, like say home, about, and the rest of that. So what I will do is um, I'll say, I'll let's say I'll select the text and um, this time around the font size should be let's say 18 and i'll have um home and i think this 18 is smaller so 24 okay 24 is nice so this time around i'm not going to make it bold i'm using medium i'll drag down here and home uh, and I, I notice this black is way too thick. Um, I'm going to reduce the opacity of the black. So I'll click on the fill here and reduce the opacity. And this is okay. So I have home. Next thing, the home brings me to the home page. Next thing is about, that will tell me. So to duplicate this, just hold your alternate on the keyboard and click with your mouse and drag. That's fine. If you do that, great, good job. So the next thing is to type this to the about, and I need to add another one using my alternate and click and drag. Call this um, let's say services. What are the services I render? Then um, I think I need another one. Yes, I do. You. Probably want to contact me, so click on this and drag. And um, sorry, not me. You want to contact Olivia. Mm -hmm. So next thing I will do is um um I'm going to add um search um add a search in case you want to search anything on the site. I'm going to duplicate this also. I'll call this search. And I want this search to be outstanding. So I'm going to make it, I'm going to make it um italics. So I'll select italics. Okay, next thing about Olivia, I want to display the um icons, social media icons at the top also. Let's say Facebook, Twitter, and the rest of that. But um, our arrangements are poor. So let's just fix that now. So I'll select all this by clicking the shift, by holding the shift key on the keyboard and click on each of the components. So um, there's a great tool at the top here with, which you can see align left, align horizontal center. So, but what I want to do is to align them vertically center that's good so all aligned vertically center then also there's click on this and select um distribute horizontal spacing so it's going to give each of them unique spacing spacings between let's say search and content is the same space between content and services so next thing i want to do is to add my social media icons now one great tool here is that um you can go to, let's say we're using Font Awesome icons. You can go to Font Awesome and download the icons. One great tool here is in Figma, you have access to plugins. So you can install Font Awesome plugin and use that in your project. So to do that, you can click on the file and click on plugins and click on manage plugins. So when you click on manage plugins, it's going to open right here. So these are the plugins I've installed. You can install your new plugin. I've already installed um, Font Awesome. That's it, right? 
I've installed Font Awesome. So, but I'm going to show you how to install that. So just click on plugins here. Then um, go down and click on browse all plugins. Then search the plugin you want to use. So, sorry, oops. That should be Font Awesome. So just click on it. You can see I've already installed it. If I click now, I'm going to uninstall it. So I'm not doing this. I'm going back to my design. So once you have done installing it to use the icons, you just need to right click. That's a shortcut and go to plugins. You can as well go to file at this top and click on plugins right here. So, but what I'll do is to I'll click on this frame, then I'll right click and say plugins, but I want to add the plugin to the frame. I want to add the icon plugins to the frame. So I'll click on font awesome. These are the various plugins I've installed. So when I click on font awesome, it's going to open the font awesome plugin. Now I can search which font I want to, which icon I want to use. I want to use Facebook. So when I click on Facebook, Facebook is right here. So one thing I notice is um, this Facebook is not part of this frame. So I'm going to drag this Facebook into this frame. So next I'll drag the Facebook down here. And I think that's the size I want to use for this project. Next, um, the opacity is much also. So I'm going to reduce by clicking on this on this field selection colors and reduce the opacity to let's say 64 is fine okay um i think 60 is okay so i'm also going to add more fonts so i'm going to port icons so i'm going to go to plugins and i'll click on uh, on font awesome icon then i'll search for the next one i want to use is twitter so i'll click on this and here's it again drag it into the frame and um let's reduce the opacity to be 60 and that's fine so i'll drag it down here next thing i want to do is um add it's a Instagram. Uh, Instagram is popular. A lot of people do Instagram. So I'm going to add a um, new font, awesome icon. I'll call this Instagram. Instagram, sorry. Okay, that's it. I'll click on it. That's my Instagram icon. Remember to also drag it into the frame. Then um, the opacity also, you can set it to be 60. Then I'll drag it here. I think people also do Pinterest. A lot of people do Pinterest. So I'll add that also. So I'll go to Font Awesome and I'll add um, Pinterest. Um, this should be okay. Oh, let me select this. Remember, drag it into the frame and um, set the opacity to be 60 then i'll drag it here so i can zoom with um, my keyboard and my mouse by holding my control and scroll up to zoom up so i'm going to arrange this and i'll select by holding my sheet and click on the individual component and set it to be align vertical centers so that's fine. Oh. All right, we have something like this. So I can group this. I can then select these icons. I want to set the spaces between it to be equal. So I'll select this and distribute horizontal spacing. That's fine. Then I change also add another icon for the search i'm called this search then we're using this remember to drag in the frame and i'll set the opacity to be 60. 
I'll drag it right here. So I'm going to select all this. Still want to make it make sure they are on the same line. And I'll set it vertical centers. So this is okay. Okay, if I have this, this is nice. So we have a header for Olivia. Next thing I want to do is I want to group these individual icons. So I'll group them by holding my command G. So on Mac, you can do command G on Windows, you can do control G. So I'll group it and I'll give it the name social icons. Then um think I'm okay with this. Think this is okay. So what I'll do now is to group this icon and group the nav links and group everything with the box and command G or control G. I'll name this to be my header of my website. So if you have this, this this okay. So the next thing we want to do, we want to add some images. Maybe showing where Olivia is doing some field work. So what I would do is to select the right angle to I want to show a picture where Olivia is doing um field work and maybe talk about Olivia by holding your alternate and dragging you you duplicate this. So and uh, these boxes I want them to be in this frame and look very nice the same size so what i'll do is to select the both of them then um, i'll select the scale tool and drag in so this should be fine another way make sure that the alignment from the frame to this box is the same with this so we can do that by adding layout grid and select um columns i want these columns to be 12 and uh, i want a margin of um should i add the margin let's say okay i want a margin of 50. good so what i'll do now is to make sure that this box this boxes is um starting from this point and this very one starting from this point another way to do that is um, using your scale to select the boat and drag and see how you're going to make them scale to that point good so you can remove your grid line by clicking on this i2 here and so once you click on the i2 it shows up once you click on it it goes up so i have something like this this is okay so i'll give this a color i'm going to click on the color under the fill and click on the pencil the pick tool and click on this color and i have this color the next thing is i'll add a picture where olivia is doing some field work so i'll click on this and um you can get free images from the internet and make sure you get images that are free without any copy license um, authority then um uh, there are free websites where you can get images free images to use one of them is unsplash.com so i can add unsplash to my figma design as a plugin so to do that i'll simply right click and go to plugins and click on manage plugins so like we added the font also and we're also going to do that here so i've already added that which is on splash use the process i showed you to add the font also to add the on splash now to add these images from the on splash what i'll do is to right click and click on plugins then click on on splash so on splash will load and get me pictures 
So I need a picture where someone is taking a photograph. Let's say Olivia is taking some photograph. So I'm going to click on search and I'll say, um, let's say a girl with the camera, with a camera or with a camera. So any of them. So I click on search and let's see what we have. Okay, let's see this. So once you click on it, it loads from splash um on splash and gets to i think i kind of um let's try another one okay let's try this this so nice i think i like this i like this and it, it it works with the color i have with my design already so i can close my own splash this really looks good remember if you think figma is a great tool Drop the comments below. Let me know if Figma is a great tool. Look at this. It, it, it's it's beautiful. Like it's it's gorgeous. The tools are so super awesome to help me achieve something like this. So next thing I want to do is to maybe a little write up on this box talking about what Olivia does. So what I'll do is um I'll create a text also. I'll call this text. Um, let me see. Let me give it a size of 36. Then I'll say this text should be about. Sorry, you can see that text because. Um, so I'll right click to bring it to front. Yes, it's in the front. So I'll say about me. So I also want this to be bold. Good. I'm not really that but semi bold will be fine. And I'll reduce the later spacing. Okay, let me manage this. So I'll set it down here. So next I want to add a text that talks about Olivia. So there's a great tool also which a great a great plugin also which you can use to do that instead of writing a bunch of text. So we'll just click on the text tool and I want some text to fill up to this piece, like talking about Olivia. Let's say the size is 18 and blah, 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 some text. So, to get some dummy text, also install a plugin which is called Lorem. Lorem helps you to give you dummy text which you can add to your UI design. So, I'll click on Lorem and I say, okay, I want two paragraphs or generate automatically, which I'm going to use auto generate so it generates some text. So, and I want this text not to be bold, just regular. Let's zoom this and see what we have. And this text is way too much. I'm going to reduce that and reduce this later spacing. And I'm going to increase the line height by clicking here and drag. And click on it and drag. And this is okay. There's some text about Olivia. Um, do I want everything looks small? Okay, this is fine. This is also fine. So I'm going to reduce it. Sorry, I'm going to reduce this. Like my text. I'm going to reduce it. Let's say at this point. Mm, this is fine also. And um, what next? I don't like the letter spacing, so I'm going to remove it and set it to zero. I'll set it to be zero. The letter spacing to set it to zero. So this is a text about Olivia. Let me increase it a little bit. Okay, this is fine. So this is what we have now. So I would also like to add a call to action button that we tell us what to do next. Sorry for that. Um, this text, I can also duplicate it, like make it more. 
Okay, this is fine. This is some text about what Olivia does. So the next thing I'll need to do is a call to action button. So I'll click on my rectangle tool. And this is okay. I'm going to give this black. Sorry for that. I'm going to give this black. Not too black. Okay, this is fine. This is okay. Then I'll add a text. So I click on the text to and drag the text to on top of it. So I'll say um what should be the call to action? I don't know what you guessed, but I'm going to use let's chat. You can see that because the text color is black, so I'm going to change the field color to be white. And I'll change the size to 36. Now make it bold, semi bold. Okay, fine. Then I'm going to set that to be in the center by selecting align middle and um, center. So I'll click on this text and drag it this way to match with the box. That way it will be in the center. So I'll click on this text and click on the rectangle tool and group the both of them. Remember, use your command G to group. So I'll call this button. Sorry, let me use a small letter for that. Button. That's a button. So I need the spacing between the text, between the text, this text and the button, and this about me and this text to be the same thing. So remember, I'll select the both of them using my shift on the keyboard and clicking on them. And I click here and select distribute horizontal spacing and fix that by clicking on align horizontal center good so i'll take this i want it to be on the center yes figma also gives you some lines that helps you tell if that is at the center so this tells me it's at the center good now we have our first page that tells what our website is all about so remember i said if you think figma is a great tool comment down figma is a great tool if you think figma is not a great tool also comment down and let me know that figma is not a great tool and i think you say that figma is a great tool everybody will say that figma is a great tool so that's fine now next thing i want to do is um I want to talk about home brings us here about takes us to this then what about services so services is going to talk what um olivia is doing so um i'm going to increase this frame i'll click on this frame and i'll increase this this way Next thing I will do is to talk about what Olivia, the kind of services Olivia renders. So um, what I'll do is select, I'll kind of make some services here. So select this, like a frame here. And let's look at our layer grid. Okay, so <clears throat> I want this, frame to start from this point from this point that's fine so i'll remove the so when i click on the frame i'll remove click on the eye to, to remove it so i'm still going to increase this so i want to start from here so but i'm going to give this a fee color of this now we have a fee color of that next i'll do is to maybe add some Some images that tells me that tells you what Olivia is doing. So remember our great tool, our great plugin that gets from Unsplash. 
So I'll click that and I'll look for a picture to use there. Let's say a lady picture, a girl picture. So search and you get some awesome pictures to select from. I think this is, uh, I think this is nice from the picture sets here. Yeah. I'll select this. This actually looks like the other lady here. Yeah. Slim fit. So I'm adding this picture and you can see it's loading. Uh, there's no wall wanted. We added it to the frame. So I'm going to do undo that by clicking on the frame and removing the picture we added. So I wanted this picture to be on this box. So I'll select the box and go to Unsplash. And I'll select search and I'll go for girl and search. So where's that lady's picture again? Okay, that's she. Good, I have a picture here, that's fine. So I also want this picture also to duplicate it for different services. So use your alternate key, click and drag one and click and drag two. So um, let's add the frame grid to see. This is starting from this point. I also want it to start from this point too. So I remove the grid. I click on the frame and click on the I2. So I'll click on this three images and I'll set the horizontal spacing to be equal. And that's fine. So next I'll give a different pictures for the different services. So this, I'm basically going to like add a flower where Olivia is um, a picture of a flower pot. Let's say a picture of a flower pot Olivia has taken before now. So I'll go to Unsplash, login, and I'll search and select, um, let's say, flower pot. And I don't need a background. When you say plain background, would be nice. Flower pot with a plain background. With a plain with plain background, I'll do that search again. Um, I can get okay. Let's say flower pot. I need a flower pot with a plain background. Okay. Wow, this can also go and select that. Okay, this is cool. I'll select this background. We can, okay, this is also cool. I think kind of like this. I'll look out for more. Let's look at this. Okay, this also can work. Um, so you can look out for more pictures, which you can select. This kind of look of the color we're using. So go back to this. So depending on the pictures you want to use. So you can see, click on this and let's say another picture should be a bookshelf, let's say home bookshelf, shelf. And I think kind of like this, so like this. Good. So we have our pictures that will tell the services which Olivia renders. 
to I kind of need to shift this a little bit. Okay, fine. Next, I want to add the text title for each of these. So I was, I'll click on my alternate and drag from here to duplicate this text. Yeah. So I'll call this, I'll say this is service with a capital, service package one. And um, kind of want to reduce the, the letter spacing. So this is okay. So I'll duplicate this for the next one and duplicate it for the last one. So this should be service two and this should be service three. Okay, great. So I need another text. So I need to click on the frame and drag this downward. I need a text to describe what this service is is all about so i'll select my text tool and kind of draw a text this way some text telling me what the service is render so i want this text to be 18 let's say 24 and no later spacing and i'll use my plugin and i'll use my lorem I say auto generate, good. So, but I'm going to make this um. I'm going to make it not bold. I'm going to make it regular. Then I can't move the text is too much. Kind of reduce it this way. And this is fine. Okay. Next, I'll duplicate this by holding my alt. But before I do that, I kind of need to reduce this. Then before I do my duplicate, duplicate it down here. And also duplicate for. So this is fine. These are the services. Um, then the color for this service and this service, I need to reduce the color opacity for this so it looks great trying to give a difference between what's the difference between this this parts should be more visible than this and that's why i had to reduce the opacity so the next thing i would need to do is to like kind of tell the prices for each of these services so i'll say this let's say a starting price of um let's say starting price of hundred dollar and these are needed to be bold because i need people to know the price for this crazy little spits in and I kind of want to reduce the opacity, not to overshadow the heading. Not to overshadow this. So next, I'll duplicate this by holding my alternate and drag. And this should be a starting price of 150. Then this should be duplicated also starting price of 200 so cool we have something like this this really looks nice so now we have our home that takes us to this page our about that talks about those services this is the services so we want to see the contact how the contact is going to actually look like. Remember I say, if you think this is a great tool, Figma is a great tool. And if you're also enjoying this tutorial, write me in the comment section that you're enjoying this tutorial. If 
you're not enjoying it. Also, let me know that you're not enjoying the tutorial. So I will we'll work on the next tutorial. I'll do much better than this. So the next thing I want to do is the contact section. So what I will do is I'll extend my frame this way. And I'll add, click on the rectangle to and add a rectangle. This way will be fine. And I'll pick this color by using the pick tool. Then I I want a text description to come out here. So I'm going to use box for that. And I want this box to be white in color. Then I'll use a text. Let's say I'll duplicate this text down over here. It's at the back of this box. So I'll right click and say bring to front. So this should be. Like you want to contact me, so say let's work together. Then um, some bunch of text. I also duplicate this and bring it to the front. Get yeah, this. This okay. Then uh, I need a button. So also duplicate this. Down here. I'll send it to front. Okay, let's chat also. Fine. So panel reduces this and sets the horizontal spacing between them to be equal. Remember to fix this, select the align horizontal center. Wow, well, this. Okay. That's fine. I'll fix this by selecting. Align left to fix this. I think this is fine. This is okay by me. Next, I want to do is um maybe add a picture of my picture, which should be not my picture, but a picture of Olivia. So that picture should come over here. Remember, there's a gauge here, so we'll gauge it to that point. Yeah, should be white so I can add my picture. Then kind of select another frame inside. Okay, so this should contain my picture. So I'm going to look for a picture of Olivia, which is a picture of a girl. Such. I think this is funny. I'll use this. Fine. This look cool, right? Yeah, this is great. So next I want to do is kind of add an artwork. So it looks very unique. Maybe an artwork beside this. So what I'll do is select the right angle. Maybe this way should take an artwork. Or it should be at the back. So <clears throat> I'll right click and I'll select plugins and go to Unsplash also. So you can search directly at, but well, let me just say at. And let's see what we have in the art. Well, there's a lot of artwork here. So depending on what you want to select, I think this flower is nice. Okay, that's fine. Kind of match with the color of this lady. So I'll send it to the back. And send this one, the bottom back. So I have this. This is, this is awesome. This is great. What do you think about this? Let me also know what you think about this. Let me also know if Figma is a great tool. 
I think Figma is a great tool. I strongly think that Figma is a great tool. So this kind of match with this and this, and we have something like this. So cool. Next thing I want to do is maybe a call to action, like tell you um, maybe what um, let's say what our clients are saying about Olivia, what Olivia clients are saying. So I need to add what Olivia clients are saying. So I'll click on this frame tool and drag it down also. Then I'll select a text also and duplicate this text downward here. Then I'll say this text should be what my clients are saying. So that's okay. So kind of check the spacings between from here to this point, the spacing, the spacing from this also point kind of looks similar. So make your project look very neat. So um, the spacing between this and this is not the same with that. So kind of drag this downward a little bit to make a unique space between this and this. That looks nice. You can also use a frame, a, a rectangle to check the spacing if they match and it's matching. So if you have this great work, next thing is to tidy up the work clients are saying about her so you can let's say let's duplicate this um i can duplicate this down here and let's extend this and maybe duplicate the text also so it looks like lots of Right up. So I'm going to make it center by clicking on the align center to here. So this is what client is saying, and this should be like a caruso that slides that will slide the different um client uh, comments about her work and uh, what she does. So what I would do is kind of add navigation so you can go to the next comment. So I'll click on the pen tool and click and click also. Then now when I'm done, I click on the escape and click on done. So this I should make it um two. Three should be fine. Then I'll reduce the opacity. Let's say make the opacity to be 80. Okay. So I'll hold my sheet and duplicate this. Sorry. I'll hold my alt and duplicate this the other way. So you, you might want to swap this. So just click on one of the edge and drag towards the other end and that's fine so you you might want this to be on the center line so you click on align vertical center and it's fine this is what clients are saying about remember this is off this is off so i'm going to reduce this and also reduce this work with our margin good and also work with margin good and i'll set the spacing between both of them to be good so next thing i want to do is the footer let's wrap up this design where the footer design so what i will do now is add a box also for the footer now let me increase the frame also by clicking on the frame and drag it down. So we have a great design, right? Remember I told you to comment below if you think this 
Figma tool is a great tool for designing UX designs and UI. So I'll give this a color of this. And let's say, increase it a little bit. Copy this. Sorry, copy this down here. And right click and say send to front. Then the text should be follow, let's say follow me at Olivia Grace. Sorry, I didn't spell that Grace very well. So follow me at Olivia Grace. It should be at the center. Use your Figma alignment tools. You can see the line showing that it's center. So I dropped it there. So maybe I want to add those pictures which I added initially. So I'll select my box, my right angle. I don't know why I like calling that box. So I'll do this. I think this is okay. So I want this to be, let's say, five. So the pits one, two, three. Oh, this is actually five. So I'll select the five of them. Then I'll set them to have the same horizontal spacing. Then I'll use my scale tool to make sure I scale it appropriately to the point I want it to be. And this is scaling also nice. So I'll pick back my move tool. That's fine. So each of these should be the pictures we have added initially in this. So I also want to increase the frame again. So click and increase the frame. Then this picture, I'll right click and um, I'll use the plugin, splash, on splash plugin. So the first one is um, girl with a camera. Camera. So that's she with the camera. The next one is um, just a girl. Just a girl. Don't type just a girl. Just like a girl. That's a lady's picture. Uh, do we have the lady's picture? Okay, that's she. The next one is a flower. Um, a pot with let's say flower pot with plain background. Oh, this is nice. I can I prefer this to this. So I can choose this and I can replace this to be this. Fine, cool. Kind of have same color similar to this from the color at shadow here. So this one should be the card picture, a book shelf picture. So the book, home book, book share. So which one did we use? We use this. Then the last one should be this lady's picture. So I'll say girl. I think I saw that last time. So I'll select this and that's fine. So if you kind of look at these pictures, you can see that this lady's picture is cut off. This also is cut off. This also is cut off. So we can fix that by clicking on the picture, then click on the image, click on crop, then you can drag it down to where you want it to be. Okay, and close. You can do that for this. I'll click on crop. So I'll quickly do this. Click out.
So we have this. This is gorgeous. This is nice. So what we need to do now is I need this icon. So I'll copy it and paste it. This is where I pasted it. So drag the icons, drag it down to the footer. This time around, the opacity is going to be 100. Next, I'll need to add my links, the home about also added. So I'll select the home, select the about services and contact. I'll copy and I'll paste. So here's it, so I'll drag it down to the bottom. So I'll set this to be horizontal spacing, then I'll set it okay. Then I want to start from this point. Okay. Next, I would like to add a copyright. So I'll copy one of these texts, duplicate here, and I'll say copyright. at 2020 Olivia Grace. Kind of not seeing that because it's gone to the back. So I'm bringing this here. And I'm removing the line spacing. Okay. So I have this now. So I'll go to, I'll set this to have um, the same, to be on the same line. So I'll use vertical center to set it. And I'll also set this to have the same horizontal spacing. And this is fine. So we are done with our design of our website for Olivia. Well, this is nice. If you have watched through this video, great job. If you, if you can do something like this, great job. This is awesome. This is great. I, 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 I love you personally. I recommend this. So remember to like and subscribe to my channel. This will help me to do more videos. And Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye.